This is Eugene Hanrickovich. I'm the laptop screen doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a Toshiba Satellite L755 laptop computer with a cracked screen, and we're going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on a Toshiba Satellite L755 laptop computer. Before we do this, before we do anything with this laptop computer or any other laptop computer, we want to make it safe to work with. So we want to remove the battery and disconnect all power sources. So we do that by flipping the laptop over, and there's two levers on the bottom. You slide the one on the right to unlock it, and then you slide the one on the left out to remove the battery, and you slide the battery out. Now that the battery is out, we can work on the laptop safely. Uh, before we go back to the top, I want to show you where you can find the part number for this laptop. Sometimes you don't see it on the front when the sticker is removed. So you go on the sticker on the bottom, it says Toshiba Satellite L755-S5216. So we just need to know the L755 because all of them use the same type of screen. Okay, now we flip the laptop over, and just like with other laptops, in order to get to the screen assembly, we need to remove the screen bezel, the plastic frame around the screen. And in order to remove the screen bezel, we need to remove four screws that are holding the screen bezel in place. There's two on top and two on bottom, and the screws are hiding behind some plastic screw covers. So before we start, I want to go over the tools we're going to use. We have some electronics screwdrivers. The one we'll probably use the most is a PH1 screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips and 1 stands for the size. We also have a smaller size PH00 screwdriver for smaller screws. And also a 2 millimeter flathead screwdriver. Uh, we probably won't use it for this job, but sometimes it's useful for getting to screws that are at an angle. We also have a X-Acto knife, also known as a hobby knife, and we do that to use that to remove plastic screw covers. And also a pair of sharp metal tweezers to remove any screws that may be stuck. Okay, so let's get started. We remove the plastic screw covers using our X-Acto knife. And I like to put the screw covers right next to them, to the screw hole, so we don't lose them. So one and two and three and one more, four. And we remove that, and I think it went somewhere, but I'll find it later. Okay, so next we use our PH1 screwdriver to remove the four screws that are holding the screen bezel in place. One, two, four. Each set of screws, I like to keep them in a separate pile. And I like to keep the piles in the order in which I remove the screws. So when putting the laptop back together, I can tell which screws go where. And four. Okay. Next, probably the hardest part of the job is to remove the screen bezel. It snaps off. And what I like to do is put my fingertips on the screen size screen side and gently start lifting up the plastic and listen for snapping sounds. Once you hear snapping sounds, that's a good sign. That means the bezel is coming up. Sometimes it's hard, sometimes it's difficult. So if you get stuck at a place, go to a different place and lift that place up and come back to the places where you're stuck at. Kind of like working on a math test in college. Anyway. Okay, so we keep moving along. Same thing on the bottom, like so. And for the plastic hinge covers that are part of the assembly, 
if they're not coming out, what I like to do is use the flat head screwdriver to kind of help things along and lift it up like so. And we're almost there. And this one's stuck again. And it's out. Um, my apology if my hands are a little bit jittery right now because I just had some coffee. All right. Once we remove the bezel, the screen is mounted on some metal mounting brackets on the side using some screws. So the screen's mounting mounted with screws on the side, and we have to remove these screws. Fortunately, with this Toshiba laptop, it's not too hard to get to these screws. For some other laptops, you have to do some other tricks to get to these screws. Notably, you have to tilt the screen away from the screen assembly to get to these screws, but, so we have to loosen these screws at the bottom. But we don't have to do that. So there's two screws on each side. And we start with the bottom one. And we remove the bottom one. Then the next one up. Like so. Then we go to the other side. Like so. So I'm taking my family to Las Vegas tomorrow and trying to get all the work done. All right, and two. Okay, well, one thing that I didn't mention is when you remove these screws that are holding the screen on, please make sure that the screen is tilted back so when you free up the screen, you don't want the whole screen falling forward on you, perhaps damaging some things. Once the screws are removed, we gently start tilting the screen up and right away we see that the webcam cable has some adhesive that's stuck to the bottom of the screen, so we remove that and we keep doing it. And we see that the webcam cable also has some adhesive on the back of the screen. We loosen it up just enough so we can put this screen down. Okay, once we do that, we can get to the connector. This is a LED screen, and this type of LED screen only has one connector to the cable. And this connector is secured by some adhesive tape. So we lift up the adhesive tape, like so. And also, sometimes the back of the video cable has some adhesive that's stuck to the screen. So we lift that up also. Once we lift up both the adhesives, we pull the connector out, like so, and the screen is free. Uh, before we go any further, I'm going to show you how to reconnect the connector because that's the biggest source of trouble. I see when people do it at home. So when you snap the connector back in, you'll hear, but you'll feel, but not hear two clicking sounds. That means the connector is clicked in place. And let's take a look what this looks like. Okay, pause the video right here and make sure your connection looks exactly like this. There should not be a gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection. This is a good connection. Okay, and moving along, we remove the connector again. And we take a look at the screen. This is a 15.6 inch LED screen. Uh, typically, you would look at it like this. And the connector is on the bottom left of the screen, and that's the standard price for the connector. And as of early 2012, this is the most common type of screen that's used in laptop computers, so you should not have any trouble finding it. Okay, let's take a look at the part number for this screen. The part number you need to look at is LTN156AT05. LTN156AT05. Now, when you order your screen and get it in, uh, most likely it will not be the exact same part number, and the circuits might look a bit different, but the connection will be in the exact same place, and the dimensions will be in the exact same place. There's a five or six different vendors that make the exact same screen. Now, you can also order this screen from us, from Screen Surgeons, and what you get with us is 
free email technical support. And when you do the installation, we have a compatibility guarantee that if the screen we ship to you is not compatible, you can ship it back and we'll get it to you the right screen at no charge. Also, we have a two-year warranty on the screen, so if the screen develops any problems within the two years, we'll send you a replacement at no charge. And also, we ship all over the world. So if you're not in the United States, uh, most likely we can ship the laptop screen to you. So to order the screen from us, go to www.screensurgeons.com, then click Buy a Screen, and then there will be a short form for you to fill out where you give us the laptop model and your email address, and we'll send you back the link to buy the right screen online. Also, uh, we saw this repair toolkit. It's these exact same tools as I show, I'm showing you here, and that's available on the website when you order the screen. Okay, when you do get your screen in, you reconnect it as I showed you, then mount it on the metal mounting brackets as I showed you, snap the bezel back in and put the screws back in and that's it. All in all this is a fairly simple laptop computer to repair so you should not have any trouble. Okay, uh, that's it. Once again my name is Eugene Panrikovich. I'm the laptop screen doc the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much and good luck.